Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video tutorial, I will explain how we can create and define complex XML schemas in TIPCO BW6. Here is the detail of what we are going to cover in this video tutorial. We will define a schema in BW6 using Business Studio and this will be called as Books Schema. And this schema will contain books as the root element. And this books element will contain multiple books inside. So it will be an array of books. And every book will have a book ID, which will be an integer. And it will have a book price, which will be a float value. And we will have book name as well, which will be a string. And we will define an enumeration for category ID so that the values that can be assigned to category ID are uh, within um, the list provided in the enumeration. And we will also have multiple level of nesting and we will have authors, which will be again a complex type. And this authors complex type will have two primitive type uh, as its sub elements, first name and the last name. And one of them last name we will keep optional and first name we will keep as mandatory. So we will try to make sure that we uh, cover and we uh, look into more and more aspects of uh, the power of BW6 in defining the XSTs. And we will uh, try to play with the different uh, constraints that are available uh, within BW6 for uh, specifying the limits and constraints on any elements that we define in our XST. If you are from uh, TIPCO BW5 background and you have been working in BW5, uh, you will see that the way we used to create uh, XSTs in TIPCO BW5 and the way we create in BW6 is much different. Because in case of BW5, we use TIPCO Designer, which is a classic IDE provided by TIPCO. And the way we create our XSTs there is much more convenient for us. But if you switch to BW6, you will see that in case of BW6, since it's Eclipse based, so for the people who are from the Java background, they will find this one more comfortable and more convenient. But for those who are directly coming into BW6 from BW5, they will find it a bit of uh, complex in the initial stages. In case if you are interested to know how to create uh, XSTs in BW5, I will put link to video in description where I explained how we do the similar things in TIPCO BW5 and how we can create complex XSTs there. I will also put the link uh, to that uh, video in the suggestion box. So before we proceed with the actual uh, scenario and start uh, building our XST in uh, Business Studio, I'll request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before and also press the bell icon so that you are getting you, you are able to get latest uh, videos and uh, you are notified as and when any new video on this channel is uploaded. So let's jump into the implementation without further ado. So I have already created a new project in Business Studio and uh, what I will do is that I will start directly creating XST. So we have schemas folder. So I will right click on the schemas folder. I will choose new and I will choose XML schema file. Let's name this file as books schema.xst and click on finish button. So now you can, you can see we have two tabs. We have source tab and we have design tab. So it's up to you if you are more comfortable with uh, defining your schemas by writing the source directly, then you can go with the, with the source tab. But if you are can, comfortable with uh, designing your schema with the power of TIPCO and uh, by drag and drop features, by adding them uh, visually, then you will use the design option. So I will use the design option here uh, in this uh, tutorial and we will start uh, creating our schema. So we have, uh, we can see we have uh, multiple uh, panels over here uh, on the screen. We have elements, we have types, we have directives. So what we will be mostly working with uh, in this tutorial is the elements and the types section. So in the type section, we will define the complex types for uh, our scenario. And in the elements section, we will define the elements. So if you want to change the target namespace of your schema, you can do it directly from here and the prefix as well. So for now, let's keep it as is and we will just directly start creating the elements. So the first element that I'm going to define is books element and this is going to be the root element. And I will right click. By default, when you add a new element, the type is string. So you will have to right click, you have to choose set type. And if you want to create a new complex type, 
you will choose new and if you want to use any of the existing uh, defined types be it a primitive type or some other type that you define you will use the browse option and select that so in this case we are going to define a new type so i'll click on new and i will name this new complex type as books type i click ok now you can see we have a type created and we have an element created within the books element we will have book element which because we will have multiple books within uh, the within the array so we will create a define a new a new type with the name book so this for book, this book element right click and choose a new a new request uh, request uh, sorry a new complex element type so i will choose book type and i'll just click on okay so we have now book type created and we have already created a books type as well so within the book what elements we are going to have we will have an element with the name book id this book id will be integer so right click and now we will choose the browse option and we will choose int so book id will be an integer and now we will define another element with the name book title this is going to be a string we will have another element as book price and for book price we will make it float we will choose the primitive type float here and then we have category id this one will be integer and for this we will define enumeration later so we will set type as int and next we are going to add another complex type element author and for this author we will right click and we will set type and we will choose new and we will name it as author type so we have three complex types defined for author we will have two elements first name and we will have last name both of them will be string okay now we have all the elements created we have the types created now we need to add the reference to these elements from within the types so first let's go to the books type and here right click and choose add element reference and the element reference we will add is for the uh, because within the books we will have book so we will choose book and this way we will have possibility to define the minimum and maximum occurrence for the book so what we will do we will do that we want minimum occurrence of the book to be one and the maximum we want is unbounded this means that we, we, we will have either uh, a minimum of one book and in and in maximum we can have any number of books uh, in this array so now you can see here it's one dot dot steric which means that uh, this is how we define the minimum and maximum for the book now click on this book type and within the book let's add a sequence so we right click and add sequence and now start adding the element reference right click add element reference the first element that we are going to add is we will browse and we will cho choose book id the next we will choose add element reference and this is going to be book title next we are going to add another element reference and this is going to be book price and then we are going to add another element reference to authors which is again a complex element with a with the defined complex type so we will choose author and you can see that once we added this author we have author type so here i made a mistake this one i added two times so let me change this author to uh, book name because i didn't change it previously correctly so it's going to be book title so we have book title we need to add book id here okay so we have book title book id book price and author so for author let's double click on this and now here again we are going to add a sequence and we are going to add first name and last name reference here so here we will choose by browsing first name and then we will choose last name so 
sorry i added attribute i made a mistake here i need to add element reference and this element is going to be last name so now we have first name and last name last name we want to make optional so we will cl uh, click on this last name and here minimum occurrence we will put as zero and maximum one so this means that this last name is going to be optional so you can see zero one let's click here and go back and we change for the uh, other elements as well so we will go to book type and if we want to make any of other elements as optional we can do that i did not add the category here i need to add category i will right click add element reference and i will choose category id over here so i'll choose category id okay so for category id i want to make sure that the values that we specify for category id are only from within the provided range so let's define the enumeration for category id so we will choose this category id and here in the constraint you can see enumerations we have two ways to add the enumerations if you add one by one you you can click on this add button and then you will add multiple values but if you want to add multiple with some uh, certain delimiter you can click on the second one with add dot 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 and here you can specify so let's specify the value as one comma two comma three because we are choosing the delimiter as comma and we click ok now you can see we have three values one two and three defined as enumeration for category id okay so now uh, we have uh, created our schema and let's do one more thing in the books if you see author we didn't define the minimum maximum occurrence so let's suppose that we want to make sure that we have at least one author and let's define that maximum allowed authors are five so if we do like this now you can see that author value author element has this uh, condition that a minimum value is one and maximum number of authors that we can define are five okay if you just want to observe what we have done and how this ex source has been created if you go to source you are able to see the complete source of all the changes that you did including this enumeration that you defined for category id and other uh, changes that you did for the data types and minimum occurrences and maximum occurrences and everything that you did has has been reflected in the source as well now if you want you can use this schema so let's use this schema so what we can do is that we can go to processes we are going to create a new process and let's name it as test xst let's name the process like this and we create an empty process okay so in this empty process what we are going to do is that we are going to add a timer as a process starter so we will right click add activity we will go to general activities and we will choose timer didn't get added so let's do it again okay so a timer has been added and by default it's configured to run once so let's choose it okay the previous one was also added so I'll delete it and after the timer what we want to do is that we want to add an activity to render the xml so we will choose xml activities and we will choose this option render xml so from the timer let's create a transition to this render xml we will not do anything fancy and we in the render xml what we are going to do is that uh, in the input editor tab we are going to choose our xst so the xst that we created is books so let's choose the books element and now you can see the structure over here we have a book within that uh, books we have book which is plus which means it's repeating and then we have book title book id book price author and within the author you can see we have first name and the last name so if we go to the input and we try to fill some values let's name the book as tutorial spedia and let's give it an idea of one two three and book price 
since it's float let's give it 23.5 and in the author let's give the name as ajmal and the last name is optional so we will not put anything and for category id we will choose one because we can choose only one value within the enumeration so if we try to choose something else we get the error because we can choose the value only from the enumeration that we created so let's choose two okay so now let's add a logger to log the output add activity and we will choose the logger let's add the log activity and in the log we are going to write the output of this render xml and that's it now let's try to run this process a simple process and see how it works we right click and we choose run business box application it will take some time and then it will uh, start loading and then it will be running and we will be able to see the output in the console so the process is now uh, successfully loaded and it has run in the business studio you can see the output that we received this uh, complete xml based on the provided inputs with the book title book id book price and author and uh, since we did not add uh, multiple books so that's why we have we can see only one but since we defined our book uh, as an array or as a repeating element so you can uh, make the changes and you can duplicate this book as well by just right clicking and you can duplicate and then provide different values similarly for the author as well you can duplicate because this is also repeating so that's it from this tutorial and i hope that the information that uh, i conveyed through this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any questions or any ambiguity or any clarity is needed feel free to write your questions in the comment section i will try to respond to your questions and uh, get back to you so that's it from this video thank you very much